motor is out. And here is our crack. Just a little one, right? The hammers. That's a crack. And then that's a crack. Honey, let me get a screwdriver and pull this and off. And then that's a crack. You got a pry bar, right? And then that free plug's pushed out. We got a pry bar, right? God. Uh oh. That's weight savings, man. And get this one too, right here. Freeze plugs it. Uh huh. Good lord. Look at this. This is only thing keeping that out is all this shit in there. All right. A little JB Weld had been good. Ventil there. Ventilated. Ventilated. And you got you got a picture of that, right? Freeze plug right there. Still filming it, man. Live. Yeah. All right, that was worth something, right? Yeah. Your Mopar fans are like that. The Dodges don't do this. <laughs> That's still the intake, right? All right, we ran over and pulled that motor out real quick. Uh, this one looks a lot better. There's not a giant hole in the side of the block. I uh, grabbed the intake, got it cleaned up, pressure washed it a couple times with some Alumina Bright uh, intake bolts. Got the oil screen, pickup, whatever you want to call it, tacked in a couple places. That's the new one. Got it driven in before we had left. And we're going to get this thing thrown together. Let's do a little time lapse. What do you say? Anyway, we can put the oil pan on right now? Uh, well, let's put the timing cover in there. Let's do that. That way, when okay, we that's fine. get our lifter drip going. Okay, timing cover.
my infinite non-existent Chevrolet experience. We put the valve covers on backwards. So I'm gonna switch them around. <sighs> the oil fill cap goes to the front. Got this pretty breather top from O'Reilly's. No, I don't know. I don't know. But the motor's basically done. He's painting the water pump now. We got a carburetor to take apart, rebuild real quick. Be sure there's no trash in it. Switching the valve covers. And I borrowed your Makita. Okay. Well, we got the um, backwards. They go like that. I looked at a picture online. But I figured I'd film it so that they could see my infinite Chevrolet wisdom. That's good. They could know that. I don't know what the hell. All right, so a quick update where we're kind of going to end here. Um, we got the motor out of the Apache truck with the giant hole in the side. We got the new motor uh, totally assembled, put together, um, got it ready to stick in the truck. Had to buy a new flywheel for it because it was a different year model, um, which I, I'm just learning the, the ins and outs of Chevrolet. Uh, to go with that, we have to buy a new clutch because it takes, a, I think, 11 inch clutch for that 94 model block um, and flywheel. So we get a new flywheel, pressure plate, throw out bearing, clutch, um, oh, uh, pilot bearing, get a new one of those also. And I'll get that, get all that stuff stuck in, hopefully beginning of next week. I've got the engine bay cleaned up. I didn't get any footage of that today. Um, been pretty busy. You'll see my, my next video coming this, this coming week. But uh, got, a, got a good Mopar video. Went and, went and found me a little builder motor. So that's pretty cool. Got a good deal on it. Uh, but thank you all for watching. And I'll see you soon. Need to let you all know, i uh, got a name for our project. Uh, it is by the guy Hog123 from YouTube. Uh, the name is Charlie Brown. So it's got plenty of yellow and black. It's going to look pretty sharp. And I appreciate y'all for watching and everybody who uh, entered into that. Try to try to name it. It had some good names. Banana Hammock and uh, Geronimo, stuff like that. But I like Charlie Brown. It's, it's the holidays coming up. So, yeah, we're going to check that out. Project Charlie Brown's coming at you soon. So thank y'all for watching.